today I'm gonna to show you how we built this garden bed cover. I wanted this garden bed cover to be functional and do more than just cover my strawberries from birds and squirrels. We also built this with our chickens in mind, so anytime I need a garden bed cleared or worked, I'm able to put this on top of any garden bed in my garden and throw a few chickens in to do their magic. I also wanted easy accessibility on both sides to maintain the garden bed without having to remove the cover or have any doors in the way. I will also add this actually made a really great frame to add some plastic over when a freeze came through the other day. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this build. To start this build, you want to measure out the length inside of your garden bed. Our garden beds were actually shorter than advertised. We really didn't realize this until we measured it this day, but they were supposed to be an 8x4, and when we measured, um, our length was 7.9. So we cut two of our 2x2x8s to our 7.9 length. After cutting these two 2x2s, two two, we set them inside the garden bed to make sure that they would fit smoothly before moving on. Once you know that the pieces fit as desired, measure the distance between the two boards to find your width length. Cut two more pieces to your width length. Ours was 41.5 inches. Once cut, set these two pieces inside the garden bed alongside with your length pieces to make sure everything fits correctly before assembling. If all lengths fit correctly, cut six more 2x2s two two to your length measurement and two more 2x2s two to your width measurement. Along with those, cut eight of your two by twos to your desired height. We made ours two feet tall. I wanted to make sure that our strawberries have plenty of room and it also is tall enough to put a few chickens in when I'm having a garden bed cleaned up and work. So just make sure that the height will work for your plants that you are trying to cover. You can pretty much make this to any height you desire. Now we are going to start assembling. Assemble everything into a rectangle and pre-drill your holes to prevent any wood splitting. We used four inch deck screws for this project. We also used this can do it clamp and it helped a lot with this whole process. Before connecting the sides together, we're going to add our hardware cloth to all the sides. This is easily done with the stapler, but I will say having a decent stapler will make all the difference when you're going through any type of stapling step. So just buy a good stapler in the first place. Once your hardware cloth is attached, start assembling all sides into a box. Once again, make sure to pre-drill your holes to prevent any type of splitting. Once you have the main portion of your garden bed cover built, take it over to the garden bed and make sure everything fits correctly. If everything does, get your tape measure out and measure out the length between the top. This piece will be sitting inside our box. We will actually be using a two by four for this step because we want this to be able to support our hinged cover on top. We want to measure the length that is sitting in between our garden bed length. So it's going to be slightly different than your other length pieces. You will want to find your middle length between your width here um, just so to make sure it's sitting in the middle of the top there because again this is going to be supporting our hinged cover and we need this to be in the middle so it will help support our doors. All right, so we will have two more rectangles that we need to build for the door. So in measuring, keep in mind where the two by twos will be placed on the top and measure the width between those two pieces. It's just going to be that middle portion. I will say we did have to kind of play around with this just a little bit to make everything fit perfectly. We thought we had it measured right initially and it was just one of those things that once we got it put together, we needed just to slice just a little bit more off. So it's one of those things where you might have to play with this one just a little bit to make Make sure everything fits exactly. You will already have your length pieces cut for this, so we only need to cut our width pieces for this. We will cut four more pieces to the length that we need to make the doors the same way we did for all the sides. So before adding our hardware cloth, we are actually going to add our hinges first. So we have five hinges here, and we just evenly measured these out along the top. This will attach our doors together in the middle, allowing us access to both sides of the box easily. Then we just took this back to our garage and we added our hardware cloth just like we did for all of the other sides. And where the doors hinged together, we took a pair of pliers to cut the hardware cloth so it could bend easily and then we turned up any extra hardware cloth around as needed and stapled everything down. So then we're going to place this on top of the box and add our handles. So we chose these nice big handles because it makes it really easy to move around with these. We added a handle to the middle of each side. We did have to wait a few days for our latches though. So we wanted to put four latches around the top to make sure the top would be secured down, also allowing everything to move really easily. So we found these latches off of Amazon and I will tell attach them in the description box below for you guys because we found it kind of difficult to find exactly what we wanted and we ordered another one that was just too large but these ones worked really perfectly with the two by twos and there you have it once those were assembled we locked everything in place and this has worked so perfectly for the last few weeks this has just been amazing everything's really easily accessible I've been able to throw a few chickens in they had so much fun in some of my empty garden beds testing everything out it was very easy to move around and again it was really easy to put plastic all around it as well when a cold snap came through. Either way guys, I hope you enjoyed this build. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up before heading out and thanks for watching today. I'll see you all in the next one.